everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making an addition compound of trimethyl borate and ammonia. This synthesis is a very simple one. All you will need is, of course, trimethyl borate. Here I have a uh, solution of, or a mixture of 75% uh, trimethyl borate and 25% methanol prepared by uh, Corrosive Chemistry's video. Go check it out, I'll leave a link here. Uh, you will also need ammonium sulfate or some other ammonium salt, like ammonium chloride or nitrate, etc. You will also need sodium hydroxide and a little bit of methanol. Oh, and some All water. around me are familiar faces, really worn out. Some, like ammonium chloride or nitrate, etc. You will also need sodium hydroxide and a little bit of methanol. Oh, and some water. And uh, for as far as glassware goes, really just uh, some to uh, do the reaction in. Uh, as far as the addition goes, and you also need a uh, some sort of bubbling apparatus here. I just have a Erlenmeyer flask connected to a uh, hose and a pipette that'll lead the ammonia into the trimethyl borate. So yeah, like I just said, we're going to generate ammonia by the reaction of sodium hydroxide or really any hydroxide like uh, even potassium. The ammonia generated will be led through the trimethyl borate and that will form the uh, ammonia trimethyl borate addition compound uh, through a fairly exothermic reaction. I tried this last night and uh, it was actually fairly warm to the touch, almost a little too hot to hold. So uh, do keep that in mind. You will get some uh, ammonia coming off. You will get some, uh, probably a little bit of methanol. Uh, also, do wear gloves and uh, have at least decent ventilation. So setting up the ammonia generator is very simple. So we're just going to add pretty much equal uh, portions of both sodium hydroxide and ammonium sulfate to this Erlenmeyer flask. Actually, let me use this. Let's do four scoops of each. I'm not going for exact amounts because the uh, trimethyl borate is really the limiting reagent. And, and plus, we're not going to have it all reacted. So. It's not a big deal. So now I'm going to put the uh, pipette in the trimethyl borate and uh, I'm just going to mix these two powders around. This probably will generate a small amount of ammonia at first, but not really until we add some water. And I'm going to do that through this uh, wash bubble here. So whenever you're ready, uh, go ahead and add a little bit of water to this mixture of uh, ammonium salt and uh, sodium hydroxide. That will generate uh, a good amount of ammonia which will bubble through there and uh, eventually we will get a uh, very thick white precipitate of the addition compound. Oh, calm the fuck down. Alright, now we have a thick precipitate of the, the trimethyl borate ammonia addition compound. Ooh, this is almost too hot to touch. Uh, some of this heat probably comes from uh, the reaction of residual sulfuric acid with the ammonia, and possibly some reaction of any residual boric acid with the uh, ammonia as well, and then probably the majority of it comes from the reaction forming the addition compound. 
So what I'm going to do now is filter this, really, and we can dry it and uh, observe the product. Then wash out the uh, reaction flask or reaction container with a little bit of methanol. This will be used to wash the product as well. That's about all I have. So, thank you everyone for watching. You can like if you want to, subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Also, big thank you to my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, video making would be a lot harder for me. So, thank you.